all right welcome back to the channel guys so today we have some more exclusive footage so remember i did say i do want to go over everyone that did go uh to anime expo and just tried out the demo and see what they did in their playtime because everyone's different you know there's a lot of different combos a lot of different ultimates that were shown off so those are one of the things i want to focus on for a little bit before i get my review video out so of course the review video is coming out to the channel soon uh it's just taking a little bit of time obviously because you got to get your thoughts together and stuff like that uh, but obviously we're we're done with my own exclusive gameplay for now until i go to evo and another convention uh that i cannot name just yet but basically we're going through just combos just seeing what the high high gameplay is you know i've been told my gameplay is really high level but there was someone else that i am been i have been vouching for because i've been seeing it on twitter and i've been seeing it just you know on the channel and stuff like that uh just really good gameplay from cherry very very high level so i'm curious on what we're gonna see here obviously we're seeing a lot of trunks in uh dr Jero right now uh, i'd use trunks a little bit oh so he absorbed the masinko when he attacked so cherry is breaking down the certain little things as well so that's really good there's a lot of things that i don't notice that you guys might notice in the videos so remember be patient take your time watch the video fully and see what you guys are you know try to point out things that i'm not seeing and you know like right there i didn't even notice it he absorbed one key blast there i wouldn't have even noticed that you know so um yeah that's pretty much how it goes so with trunks i mean the good combo so far we're seeing obviously jero doing some absorptions which is good that is what we need to see from the androids uh at least jero and hopefully when we get android 19 so that'll be fun um you know once we have that we'll be able to see more but for now this is just the demo build uh, and we just gotta stick with it, you know? I know a lot of people are starting to get a little annoyed with seeing more gameplay like this. But remember, guys, there's reasons for this. You guys want to see every single detail to the game as much as possible so you guys can get ready for when the game is out. Uh, just, you know, ultimates or it could be the clashes, how to play the clashes better. Like this right here, for example, how do you play that? Like, basically right there, Trunks technically we should have lost that when the actual clash broke, but... We still won. So we're trying to figure out the small details, guys. And like I said, comment down everything below in this video. Let me know what you guys notice at a specific timestamp so I can understand for when I go back to Evo or when I go to Evo to try out the game once again. So remember, there's a lot of Spark and Zero content that's going to be coming out in the next coming weeks. We're going to be making content ourselves. So stick around, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, guys. We've been doing very, very well, so I really appreciate everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. Uh, just showing off that high gameplay, uh, you know, that's those are one of the things I want to show you guys, how good the game is, and of course, my, my skills. That's why I'm DVC skills, you know? Um, and hopefully you guys just keep enjoying that, you know? If you guys enjoy the presence of me and just enjoying the content, just the commentary, all that good stuff, guys, let's just continue going on, you know, and you guys let me know. So here we're seeing Android 17 against Hien. I have not seen a lot of 17 gameplay, so I'm very curious. Like these, these are good combos. Um, obviously, we already Tien lost. We're going against Broly, so Broly might be a little tough because he does have his armor. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Android 17 here can. Yeah, so he's he can he has that armor as you can see. Nice grab though from Broly. Very nice grab from Broly. Going back into the clash. So the clash does actually happen a lot more often than you th might think it does like i got clashes a lot especially like well i only got beam clash once but like normal clashes i got it a lot to be honest all right so here you go we're we already broke uh armor right there not right there but we broke it after so it takes like three four hits before you break armor which in tenkai j3 it was the same you have to hit like three four times for you to break the armor so uh that's that at least they're bringing that back to this game and like i said this game has a lot of aspects to BT3, but it's not the exact same, you know, so just very modern style. And honestly, I'm loving it. I I'm truly loving it. I'm like, I'm like hoping I can just go back soon and just play all, all the demo and just obviously when the game comes out, you know, there'll be a lot to play, but I'm just excited. I'm truly excited, you know? So here we're finally seeing all fired up. So like I said, not everyone's seen every single detail just yet. So this is why we're reacting to other people's content because there's a lot that can be shown from other content creators so huge shout out to cherry for doing that you know there's 
so much more out there too guys so listen you guys might have seen it already but i haven't so i'm curious on what we're seeing here i'm just trying to react to it i'm trying to get your guys uh you know comments in, in the on this video and just showing out pointing the specific things so here very nice aura i love the yellow golden aura on goku uh so that was a cancel out the charge cancel which is really different you know it is doable in bt3 but i think cherry didn't mean to do it based on what i saw on twitter previously so that's really cool um okay so we're going against a yamcha yamcha is good to go against if you're trying to go for a beam clash right now um because yamcha just kept throwing the command mayo at, at me at least and i think dada doya also did it against yamcha too so nice combo so as you can see you stop and you throw key blast as well to just reset the combo which is really good very nice combos here you can see maybe a leg sweep might happen good like leg sweeps are really good to do because you can reset the opponent so oh look at the crack the crack on the wall was dope okay so we're, we're gonna see sonic blast right here so i've already shown off sonic blast but sonic blast is really dope look at the tracking the tracking is really good it followed yamcha all the way really dope kamehameha right here really beautiful i like sonic blast sonic blast is really fire that was wicked though look at all the smoke i know a lot of people are complaining about the smoke whoa what the that was glitched tn was glitched are we seeing where is he where's beerus oh he's, he's gonna break the wall okay so he kind of broke through the building as you can see it's so cool to see the building just falling apart little by little oh look at that nice dragon dash there you go. Now we're getting some combos with TN. So Beerus is one of the characters that were a little more difficult to play against, especially because he uses a lot of perception and all those revenge counters. That's one of the things that was really cool just to see that Beerus himself is doing that. You know, like with, oh, so those are, I believe right there is the charge chase or chase charge where you can change your character and also go to the opponent and attack them the moment you're switching. So really cool feature i don't know if the older games did that but very cool mechanic in here you could probably combo into that so like i said there's a lot of new features in this game that can be used for comboing and stuff like that so it's not the exact same as um you know bt3 but you can see good combo so far nice clash going right here as you can see spinning and then you win so that was really cool but as you can see when you boosted you get fatigued very cool feature uh, and obviously here we use I think howl I believe Howl. I'm not 100% sure but we're gonna see something right here because when you go into sparking it is crazy it is crazy oh we missed our ultimate right there that is unfortunate what well, not me I'm not the one playing remember this guys I oh Sonic Sway I have not seen beer uh, Broly's uh, Sonic Sway but like I said, I'm pointing this out right now, guys. This is not me playing. This is not me playing, guys. This is Cherry playing. We are just reacting to the high-level gameplay, the very high-level combos that, you know, I only one that I've seen pull those things off is me, you know? But I have to give Cherry the flowers. Cherry is very good with the high-level gameplay, very good combos and you know i just have to give it to, to them like they're doing crazy good so let's see some gogeta gameplay now listen guys i know it's a lot of gogetas it's a lot of gokus a lot of vegetas a lot of brolies you know but it's okay at the end of the day we're looking for the combos we're seeing look at this look at this that's canceling out the combo just to go back into it that like that's different i don't think i was doing that stuff you know so like i said look look at that that is a cancel out into the combo and then eight key blast so there's very high level gameplay here which is really good the step in is really dope i need to get better with that like i don't know what it is like that explosion right there i'm not 100 sure what that is but like you cancel out your, your, the combo which is cool uh i don't know how exactly he's doing that but whoa what just happened right there we just went in a full circle yeah right there when he blew him away with the little like explosive wave thing i don't know what it's called but uh that could be a good way good way to reset your combo and then go back into a combo i just love i just love the dragon dash it looks so dope it looks so clean and here we go with our i think this is our ultimate yeah this should be our ultimate because stardust breaker is not an ultimate it's a super attack 
So that did a lot of damage. I'm not sure if I've seen Meteor Explosion. Not sure. So here we're beating up Gohan, which is unfortunate, you know. It's a, he's just a kid, but he is a Saiyan, so he, he can handle it. Look at him bouncing off. That's just crazy. Oh, look at the camera. The camera was just going left and right. Okay, so we're seeing Majin Buu. Um, I played a little bit with Majin Buu. He is really cool to play with. He, pers me personally, like, I probably wouldn't pick this one. Did a RRC and two perfect smashes there. Okay. Now, that's very technical. I'm not sure 100% what the RRC is, but uh, perfect smash is obviously a good thing. Let's see what else we're going to see here. So, of course, power up as much as you can. Switching to Scouter Vegeta. Nice. So, as you can see, when we switched to Scouter Vegeta, we did not have our full key, no gauge or stock, whatever you want to call it, uh, compared to, obviously, Gogeta having it. So, you kind of reset yourself. You have to go back, you know, into getting your key again. So, just keep that in mind, guys, if you're trying to switch out characters and you don't have enough key, you might as well switch out when you're, like, completely out of key. So... Okay, so we're about to get one stock or gauge here. I'm going to continue calling it stock because that's what I am used to. Uh, but you guys might call it gauge. So remember, one stock is on the left side there. Uh, or you can call it gauge. So let's see what we're going to... Okay, so he... Whoa. Did he, like, really just Dragon Dash that quickly? Because that was really quick. Let's see some combos. Yep, nice step back. So the step back, I do as well. Uh, I've noticed how to... How to do it it's just a good step back to also do side steps as well so nice step in there you go keep that combo going Ooh, boo's about to paralyze there you go boo oh so nice cherry thought of the explosive wave that canceled out boo's kamehameha so really dope to see uh boo is finished with key blast only which is wicked very very wicked so remember that guys, this gameplay is a pretty long gameplay, so just stick around. If you guys are still here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think so far of this gameplay. And of course, check out everyone, or just check out Cherry. It's going to be in the description below. This is a very, very high level gameplay, which is really good to see. Like I said, a lot of people have been asking me in my own comment section, like, oh, can we do this? Can we do that? Like, Cherry could be showing it off, and you probably wouldn't know unless you've been watching this video. So just know that. And of course, go to Cherry in the description below. Give the full support to them as well. Drop a like on their video. Subscribe to them as well if you want to continue seeing more Sparking Zero content. Remember, Sparking Zero is here to stay. Sparking Zero is forever right now. So like this is not this is not leaving anything. Like whatever you guys are seeing on this channel, just enjoy it as much as possible. There's so much coming to the channel soon. Uh, and I just want you guys to, you know, have fun with it. Enjoy it. Break down the gameplay. There's more. This is only 50 characters from the demo. We have 100 plus more characters that we have to still go through. So remember, you might get a little tired of seeing the same characters right now. But there's so many different things that they can do that not everyone's showing off. So I'm very grateful that we're seeing this kind of content right now from Cherry. Very good high level gameplay here. We're seeing some nice dragon dashes, nice combos here going. Oh, uh, we we're about to break the wall again. You know, I'm curious what that what that's going to do in the in the game, because maybe they're setting that up for the final version of the game and not the beta. But I feel like when you break that wall, I feel like we're going to go to a different side of the map or something. I don't know. It's going to be very, very cool if that happens. So right here, sparking mode is so fun to use. Mainly because you can just do infinite combos, you know, so low that was a weird tracking You see how the sky changed though. I love that sky mechanic. It is super crazy You can see how dark it gets it gets very into it, you know, very um, in-depth Just thought it was funny how he snapped into the pose. Yeah, okay, so Nice we're seeing we're seeing some side steps as well as some vanishing Nice he can he canceled out the attack there's a nice gut punch and the leg sweep right there that's a typical move that you can do in bt3 oh nice clash there you go so that is gonna be a win though still yeah the clash is a little weird but you can see fatigue so fatigue happens if you're boosting on your clashes so just remember that uh you don't want to always boost but i guess in certain situations you might want to it just depends how much key you have uh it takes up a lot of key though so remember that 
You can break the area around you to create a smoke screen and hide your attack. Yeah, that that's really that's really crazy. That is insane. That is a huge huge detail in this game. Uh, honestly, I, I I'm just shocked. When we first saw that in the trailer or like when they did the first gameplay, I was so shocked when Goku was like literally like not even looking in the right direction and the key blast started coming after him. Like it, it's just crazy. Regular rush attacks can clash with the perfect smash for some reason. Okay. So, me personally, like, I usually do the sidestep before I do a perfect smash. Um, just so then you can, like, throw your opponent off. Nice dragon dash. There you go. I love the sweeping in the game. And this is the same in uh, Tenkaichi 3 as well. Uh, the sweep is very helpful, especially trying to get the reset into the combo. Uh, which is really good. And then, of course, going into a combo into a grab is really good, too. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're trying to uh, stop a gra or stop a combo for a second and do a grab and then do a chase after them. So a lot of good ways you can do combos. Just remember that. Um, and like I said, break down this video right here. See what you're seeing. Ooh, look at that. A perfect smash that stopped Vegeta from actually still attacking. So he's getting pieced up right now, but there you go. Let's do a dragon dash. And, and remember, I call this a dragon dash. That's what I think think of it when i remember it from the older games it could still be the wrong name so you guys let me know what it is officially called i just call it dragon dash because it just makes sense to me uh but it could be called like i don't know super burst or something just let me know Ooh, we're hitting the ultimate and this is not brother kamehameha this is not the bros i believe this is just a straight super kamehameha yeah that didn't hit which is unfortunate that would be nice to see so yeah you can see the time is running out the time in this demo Probably wasn't enough realistically, but in a 3v3, it did take a while for the fights. So when we get that 5v5 at the end of the game, like when the game comes out, there's going to be a lot of time. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of time, and if anything, you could just do infinite time. So just keep that in mind. I don't know how it's going to go for online mode, but it's still really cool. Playing 5v5 is just a lot of, you know, a lot of fun, most likely. It will be. I haven't tried that, but uh, doing 3v3 was fun. And of course, we're gonna have DP. So with DP, we're gonna be able to use specific characters on point system, which is always good because that kind of balances out the teams as much as possible. You know, you could just use two characters and that's it. Where the other the other opponent could have like four characters. So always love that mechanic. But yeah, I'm just kind of yapping. You know, I kind of just talk whatever's in my mind. So right here, we're seeing some blue Ve or Goku, not Vegeta. Goku versus Trunks. Nice Kamehameha up, up front and personal. Nice little vanish that we saw. So we're charging right in front of Trunks. There you go. So the step in, the step in so fire. The step in is very unique in this game. Um, I did get a comment about the step in coming from Raging Blast 2. Now I'm not saying that is exactly it, but uh, BT3 is a game that also does step ins too. So they use both games for this aspect. And I'm pretty sure they use both games just in general for this game. So it's like the, the perfect Dragon Ball game in general. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I can just continue saying about what, what we're seeing in this gameplay. Uh, very uh, Rage and Blast-ish and Ra Tenkaichi 3 mainly. Okay, what are we seeing right here? Oh, here's that punch versus Frieza. The perfect punch. A lot of damage there. Oh, so we're trying to... Okay, so that was trying to vanish. So we're trying to see a perfect smash here. So remember, when you do the short dashes, you lose a lot of key. So remember that you don't want to necessarily short dash unless they're close by you. So close range fighting, definitely short dash. But if they're far away from you, just do the dragon dash. It's gonna use the same amount of key. As you can see, it barely used anything and you're still good, you know? So just keep that in mind. Ooh, put Gohan on the ground and pick them up and threw them. Mm, that is just, mm, I love that. I just love that so much. It is so fire. No, look. See, that stuff right there, I do the same thing. The Dragon Dash. Anything after this point was just awkward movement, so I skipped to the next match. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, a lot of the movement, um, it's still a little stiff. I will say that. I'm pretty sure they're fixing it, and they're most likely already fixed it. Especially in the JP version that was shown in, um, you know, a, a little bit ago. So there's that. We do, I think this is the SGF version, which is Summer Game Fest version. But at the end of the day, it was fun playing this game. I'm so, I'm so, so excited for it. I, I wanna play it as soon as possible, which I know I will, and I'll get more content. So just keep that in mind. Nice, this is a revenge counter. 
Um, I think, or it should be perception. I think. You guys let me know, I always forget that. I think that was perception. That was perception, because that's the same thing we saw with uh, Rose Goku and UI Sign Goku. Okay, so this is evolution technically. Evolution blue right here. Now, like I said, this is what it is so far. I'm not 100% agreeing that this is it and that we could possibly still get a transformation for it. I'm just saying this is what it looks like. As you can see, it did look like it. Nice step, nice side step, and you're not punching him. Way to point it out. Uh, I think I think Vegeta's hands are a little too small, especially with his hit detection. Uh, it's a little too small when you're trying to punch. I've noticed that. Goku's a little bit longer, and of course he uses his legs more, so... I don't know. I just love the way Goku fights. Goku, when he uses his legs, is just perfect. And I think that kind of gives that, like, Vegito, Gogeta, like, personality. Vegito uses his legs. Goku uses his legs. Gogeta uses, you know, Key Blast and just fighting. Vegeta uses that, you know? So it's, it's just funny how it's, like, the polar opposite of it. Uh, and, you know, I'm excited to use those two characters. Especially Vegito, we need to definitely see Vegito in hopefully another demo build or maybe a new build. Um, and who knows, maybe an open public build. I don't know. That's not 100% confirmed. So, very good high gameplay, guys. Let me know what you guys think so far of this gameplay, as well as my previous gameplays that I've shown off with my own content. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Drop a like on this video. Comment down below what you guys are thinking so far of Sparking Zero. Like I said, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of Spark and Zero. We have so much coming out soon. Obviously, I'm like I said, I'm going to Evo, guys. Make sure that you guys stick around for that. I'll be going to another convention that will also have Spark and Zero, so I'll get more footage there. And then when the game does come out, there's going to be a lot of content for that. We're going to play online matches. We're going to do story mode. We're going to do all the ultimates and supers attacks in the game. Uh, just a lot of that stuff. A lot of content is coming to the channel. So stick around, guys. Really appreciate you guys. Really appreciate everything that you guys have been doing so far for the channel. Uh, we're almost at 14,000 subscribers, guys. Hopefully, by the end of the year, we can probably get to like 20,000 subscribers. So, guys, keep sharing the videos on uh, Twitter. Share it on Instagram. Share it to whatever other social medias, guys. Just to get it out there because we've been growing like crazy. And that's because of you guys. And really appreciate that. So right here, I think we're close to ending the video. Uh, I think this is the last match before the video ends. But as you can see, Vegeta versus Trunks is a very poetic way to end uh, a very high level combo gameplay here that we've been seeing. You know, huge shout out to Cherry for the gameplay. Gameplay feels really smooth control. Wish I could play more than six matches. Exactly. There's just, that's all the footage for now. So there's, there it is right there. Perfect. Uh, and I think, I am not sure why that was shown, but anyways, yeah, that's the video, guys.